Talent Sprint. I'm happy to present to you a new series to help you prepare for your AMCAT exams. This video clip is part of our free live class on YouTube where we discuss questions from previous year AMCAT examinations. I hope you will enjoy this video. So let me just share, your screen, share my screen with you. So here's the first question from the topic operators. It's question number six. Okay, so for this next question, Rosa has answered A. Pramod has answered A. Rohan, I trust me, everyone says A. Okay, so for the others who have not yet answered, I'm going to show you the tip. So here is the tip. But then I see that almost everyone is able to answer the question without seeing the tip. I'm really happy to see that. So I'm going to display the question again. If someone else wants to take a guess once more. Okay, so almost everyone has answered the option A, 10. And I'm very happy to say that the answer is indeed 10. So it is pretty simple, right? So in if condition, we see this. There are two conditions over here, okay, which are separated by an AND, AND operator. So here is the AND operator. So here the first condition, A is less than B. So value of A is 20 and B is 10. So this first condition is actually false. So the flow will not go into the next line. It will actually go to the line which is outside the if loop, if construct. So it is going to print the value of B over here, which is equals to 10. So the correct answer is 10. So I'm really glad that you guys were able to answer this question without really having to look into the tip. So I'm quickly going to move to our next question for operators. So here it is. Okay, so let's have a look at this new question. And let me just tell you, this one may not be that very simple. So guys, try to look. Oh, there are only two lines of code written over here. But then you will have to think a lot before answering this question. Okay, so follow me has said A as an option. I really hope you are follow me that you are answering the question number seven and not the question number six. Roja says A. Okay. Chetali says B. Okay. Okay. Tejesh says A and Rakesh says C. Okay. Ankit says 42. Option B. Okay. Sri Lakshmi says C. 38. Okay guys, so let me just give you the tip for this particular question. Just read the tip very carefully. Uh, because let me just tell you that most of you have answered wrong. So read the tip carefully and just try to relook the question after reading the tip. So here's the tip. So the, there are two tips here. The first tip is about evaluation of expression. And the second tip you have already uh, already got the tip in the previous question but it's displayed again so rakesh wants to change the answer to a okay so i've shown you the tip now i'm going to show you the question again now based on what you have learned in the tip try to relook this question again so jitendra says sorry again it's a okay so jitendra has changed his answer to a 38.5 okay anyone else who wants to take a go? I think this question is proving to be too tough. Even after tip, I just have, okay, Polomi has answer B. Jitendra has 38.5. Yeah, Jitendra, you have already said that, 38.5. Okay, so let me just show you the answer to this question, which you will be most surprised is not 38.5, but 38. Oh, Roja now guessed it's 38. So let me just show you, this is just hear this carefully. Okay. So here we have two concepts. One is of evaluation, evaluating the expression. So in a Java expression is evaluated from left to right. That's the first thing. And second is about the precedence of operations, right? So when you see this particular ex expression, just this particular expression, okay, where it says j into k plus plus, right? This particular expression, here j, which is seven, will actually be multiplied by 
the value of k. So here we have k plus plus, but the way k plus plus the double plus increment post increment operator works is that it is it is first going to evaluate the variable and then only it assigns the new value. So here the value of k for evaluation will be used as 11 and not 12. So this goes like this. Okay, so value evaluated is 11 and not 12. And then this becomes 77. Then this is further divided by 2. So this comes to be 38.5, right? 38.5. But now if you look at this entire expression, all the variables are integer type. So since we are dividing and multiplying integer type variables, the decimal part will be moved off and only 38 will be left as the answer. So that is what that is why this print statement is going to print only 38. Okay, so C38 is the answer of this particular question. So as I said that it has a lot of concepts, the concept of uh, evaluation expression, the concept of precedence, and then how double plus incre post increment, uh, increment operator will work. And then finally, the typecasting where the decimal part is trimmed off from an integer result. So I hope you learned a few good concepts over here. And now I'm going to quickly move to our next question. So here's question number eight. So here is question number eight. Have a look at this particular question and try to come up with the option, right option. So again, this question has to deal has to deal with operator precedence, at which operator is having higher precedence than the other. Come on, guys! It's a simple maths. I really hope you have a pen and paper uh, beside you because you have to do some maths over here, or maybe you can use your mobile calculator. Okay, so I see a few of the guys answering the previous question, question number seven. So we have moved on to question number eight, okay? And I've given the explanation for question number seven already. So for for question number eight, our current question, I have some answers. Okay, great. So I have Ankit saying option A, okay? And Arun saying option C, and Pallavi saying option B, okay? So three of you have given, okay? So Jagpati Babu says B again. Promo says A, differ by 80, okay? Okay, I see that you guys are doing your maths. Good, good. Okay, Arun Pratap has changed the answer from C to B. So let me just give the tip for this particular question. Okay, let me just show you the tip. And now that I've displayed the tip, I'm going to display the question again. And you guys can try to relook at the question based on what you have learned from the tip. Okay, so after showing the tip, I have first answer. Santosh Shreddy says A. I think Arun also says B, okay. Jitendra K says B, okay. Let me wait for a few more answers. Okay, Arun Pratap says that was for the seventh one. Okay, okay, let's concentrate on quest the current question, which is question number eight. Arun? Okay, so I have Rakesh saying A. Okay, for question number eight, option A. Jitendra says differ by A, T, A. Okay, so let me just give the answer to this particular question, guys. So, answer for this question is A. Okay, now let me just show you how it is. So let's evaluate the first expression. So the way evalu evaluation will happen is from left to right. So the first thing that will happen is x is 40 into y is 35. And then it is divided by z, which is 20. This entire expression here, the multiplication and division has same precedence therefore first multiplication will be calculated it doesn't really make a difference so this expression will be calculated because it has higher precedence than a minus sign okay so this expression will be equal to 70 and then this will be subtracted from w which is 10 so the answer for this expression the first expression will be 60 this will be equal to 60 okay so 60 is the answer for first expression. Now let me just clear and show the evaluation of second expression. Now in second expression, we have over here 
a bracket right so bracket is always evaluated first right so z minus w will be equal to 10 right that will be evaluated first right bracket will have a higher precedence than multiplication and division so now we have what we are left with is 40 into 35 divided by z minus w which is equals to 10 now the answer for this will be 140 right yeah 140 so the earlier the answer was 60 and now the answer is 140 so the difference is 80 and that is why the correct answer is a which is 80 so i really hope you learned about the precedence the way it works from this particular question now i'm going to move to our next question so here's the next question have a look at this question so again this question is based upon how the post post increment and pre increment operator the plus plus operator works let me see if i can get some answers for this question seems a little tough but i'm hoping that some people will be able to crack it and remember guys you usually in a amcat exam you will have at max one minute to solve such question so you will have to be very precise and fast so i have the first answer from follow me she says a okay let me just wait for some other answers also okay so azra abid says d jitendra says a roja says c okay so i have quite a few people giving quite different different answers rakesh says c is the answer Pramod also says C is the answer. Okay, so you guys got had, have got this processed. So Azra is now changing her answer from D to C. Okay. Okay, so let me just show you the tip. And tip is not much. It just tells about how the pre-increment plus plus I, which is called as pre-increment uh, operator, and then I plus plus, which is called as post-increment, how these two will work. Just see the tip now that you have seen the tip i'm going to display the question again and if some people want to relook the question now based on what you have learned from the tip so ankit now says c 5 6 7 16 okay any more answers jagpati also is saying c okay okay guys so let me just show you the answer so answer is c so i think after reading the tip a uh, lot of people a lot of uh, you guys have been able to answer it the answer is c now let me just show you how the answer is c so let's see so initial value of i is equals to 5 okay now the first statement says print i plus plus now what we see is i plus plus is going to evaluate the expression uh, evaluate the variable first and then increment it so over here it will print 5 because that is how the print will evaluate i the value of it will the evaluation is going to happen first so the print statement will print 5 but also since there is a plus plus increment operator the uh, the value of i will actually become 6 so the print statement will print 5 because it is it will evaluate i uh, i first and i initially is equals to 5 so it will print 5 but then in the same statement the value of i will become 6 so in the first line the value that will be printed will be 5 but at the same time the value of i will then now become 6 now let's come to the next line okay now we know that the value of i has already become 6 from the first print statement the value of i has become 6 so now when we are simply printing i it is going to print 6 okay so these are the first two statements which will print 5 and 6 okay now let's come to third statement which is this plus plus i so as we say that the pre-increment operator is going to increment first and evaluate later so now i value is 6 it is going to increment the value first make it 7 and then the print statement is going to evaluate the value of i so i value has already become 7 so the third line will actually print 7 
right so this is the logic behind printing 7 by the third line now let's come to the final line which is the most complicated one as it see there are a lot of plus signs in it so let's see how this last line is evaluated and printed so now the value of i is already 7 okay so if you see this particular expression right so the first operand over here is plus plus i okay so this actually is equal to plus plus i okay so here value of i becomes 8 okay and then this is added with i plus plus right now the value of i has become 8 already so 8 plus 8 and this will become 16 so hence the last statement last print statement will uh, will uh, run 16 so now if you look at the options over here right so you really do not need to evaluate this last line so if you see the options correctly if you evaluate only the first second and third line there is only one option which is having the correct answer five six seven all the other options are not having this particular option so you really do not go and evaluate this it's just from the point of view of solving the question in the AMCAD exam you do not have to spend time evaluating this fourth statement because if you see the option once you evaluate the first three statement which are much more easier than evaluating the first four uh, the fourth uh, statement if you evaluate the first three statement you are going to get the correct answer there itself okay so this is where you save time so you see the options you do only the processing of the first three statements and you can see the options and say okay option c is really correct and i now do not need to waste my time evaluating the last statement the fourth print statement okay so this is one of the tricks that you have to use while giving the amcat examination because AMCAT, in amcat you are going to have very less time to solve this particular question so i hope the concept is clear and i hope the trick to solve this kind of a question is clear okay so that was all we had from our last live class on this topic i hope you enjoyed learning some good concepts if you like this video do watch the other parts which cover more topics from amcat if you wish to learn on YouTube by interacting live with our trainers, then do join our next live class on AMCAT by subscribing to our channel. So see you all soon. Until then, happy learning.